what's going on guys so back today man we got a uh and this will be a really short one but this is a subscriber request uh wanting to know how to upload a tune uh into your car from hp tuner so i figured since i ha actually have a tune that i need to put into the car right now let's go ahead do a video on it um that way you get to see the entire process right so now this is assuming that you already have the mpvi v3 module from hp tuners um and assuming that you also have an unlocked pcm right so if i'm if i'm not mistaken 2014 and newer vehicles have a locked pcm now this is from i'm talking about the mopar vehicles i have no idea about chevy camaro uh you know i mean chevy or ford uh, i have no idea what's the the situation with those i'm talking about mopar so if you got the charger challenger you know the ram the, any of these vehicles if it's older than uh you know 2014 so 2005 to 2013 or whatever case um you should be good to go as far as um just simply uploading the tune and going on about your business so again assuming you have the module assuming you have the um unlocked pcm you would also then need to get some credits once you download the actual hp tuner software um you know and it'll be specific to your vehicle you'll need x amount of credits for you know whatever but it'll tell you in the system right so i already have the credits so i don't have to go through that um to be honest and i've, I've had this so long nor do i remember you know that part of the process anyways but anyways so you got your tune you want to upload your tune you're going to go to vcm editor and this is my gaming uh computer that i'm on so y'all see those games there that's why don't worry about it all uh, right so you get into vcm editor i'm gonna come up here to file i'm gonna click open all right so this is the name of the tune um that my tuner sent me all right now at this point you want to make sure your car is in the on position right we are actually in the car so yes you're gonna hear some beeping and whatnot turn this AC, ac off right so just make sure that it is in the own position don't actually start it uh right so once you do that you're gonna hit right vehicle over here right so you can confirm right here that it's the the right tune file that you wanted to upload and then you hit right Right, so you'll see several things go on on the dash of your car. Um, you know, gauges may cycle, all the lights will flash at some point. Uh, you'll hear, I don't know, you, you'll hear some exterior sounds as well. Like, I don't know if that's like modules, you know, whatever, whatever. It, I don't know if y'all can hear that. Uh, you know but that was just like the fuel pump just activated you know what i mean so um you hear stuff like that and um just gotta wait the time so it sh this next thing after it does this erasing should be like a two minute wait time until it uploads the the file yeah two minutes so we got two minutes to wait you know So we're done with the two minutes. Uh, boom, there we go. Right complete, please cycle ignition, right? So we're gonna go ahead, turn this thing off for about 10 seconds. Right, and then we're gonna go back to the own position, right? Now I'm not ready to start the car yet. Um, so I'm not gonna start it, but uh, that's it, man. You do that and you've just tuned your car so 
very simple system to use um not very complicated at all as you guys just saw right um and i guess while i'm in here uh, i'll show you guys one other thing right so let's say um trying to think of something real world that typically okay so let's say you go get long tube headers and you um remove like your cats right so you know let's say that pops you know some particular um some particular code like check engine light on your car right so you would click engine engine diagnosis right here and this will be all the damn codes you know that your car can show right so let's say again if it was for so just quick example right so this one right here uh let's see right here as you can see i got this turned off right because no matter what i did this is a constant light that would come on for absolutely no damn reason right now i still have old two sensors uh in my car um but i don't have uh downstreams right so i have the upstream o2 sensors and that's it um so you know i have several check engine lights related to me not having downstream um o2 sensors on the car so i came in here all the ones that applied i checked them turned them shits right on off don't worry about it um yeah so you know you can do that with whatever the code may be uh literally every single thing so um in most cases when you know we're talking about tuning and you know you go get a 180 thermostat you more than likely will have a thermostat related code uh that you'll have to come in here to turn off because you know your car will be reading the temperature just fine but it'll be outside of you know certain parameters um so it'll still force a check engine light to come on so um yeah you just go in there and take care of it so um that is my short explanation of how to use hp tuners to upload a tune also to get rid of those check engine lights um if you're new here man hopefully you are um considering subscribing you should be right um hit the like hit the notification bell share it out to your friends they probably don't know how to do hp tuners either you know so let's get this thing going and uh i will catch y'all on the next one man you know <laughs>